set up the PID, we have our box here, and we have our PID controller here. And you'll see that we're going to need to slide this in. You can see with where it is positioned, like so. So you can see on here you have AC power, and a good way to look at it is like this. And we're going to just take this part. And where you see this part down up here like so, we're going to push this with the letters like that, temperature controller with that above. So push this through. Give you a little bit of a snug fit depending on the print, print quality and things like that. So there you have it. See how that then this part here should be right above where our pins are. So one, uh, one through six, and then seven, eight, and then nine, ten. We will only be using the first four over here, and then seven and eight over here for this, uh, this, uh, this build. So I'll put this to the side now that we have the PID slid in into place. And adjust this a bit. So going back to our step sheet, we're going to have, I'm going to jump to step three here on my sheet. So step two, will these two screws here will be used eventually to fix the relay onto that plastic part. So that's kind of a little bit further down. We're going to loosen these two Y connectors as well as these two wires. And we will do the same things that we did before. I'm gonna strip about three quarters of a centimeter off each end. Okay, just like so. Get rid of the, get rid of the waste. And here we're gonna crimp on again, Y connector, one onto the red and one onto the black. So we put the red Y connector on. Push down really firmly. So that one should feel snug. And the black. And now we will, I'm going to start with the red and our PID controller, the back part of this box. We're going to loosen one and two with our screwdriver. So this helps if these get pretty loose, so it's easier to slide in the Y connectors. Okay, so we have this loosened. And I find using a magnetic screwdriver makes this part a bit easier uh, to slide in the Y connector. So we're going to start with our red wire with, that we just put the Y connector on. And we're going to push that through. So we're going to see over here there's a slit. You can see um, the white paper in the back just under the AC part, uh, which is upside down here. That makes sure um, you're in the correct orientation. We slide it through that slit so you can see that the Y part can then is then lined up with the with the pins and I am gonna use the screwdriver to then just make sure this is loose and slip the Y connector underneath. That can be a little tricky sometimes so you slip it underneath and then push it through so it's in, in shape into the into the position and then I'm gonna screw this down. Good. Now this is really important that we take this this wire that's sticking out here and we're going to fold it under and through. So if we go to the side, we can see that there we have our wire that we just connected. And we're going to just pull it under the side and around to the top and kind of tighten it over so it's basically folding on over itself. And I'm just going to flip this up to the side because we're going to need it later. Um, moving on to the black wire, we're going to do the same thing with the black wire with the Y connector we just put on and we're going to put that in underneath 
and under into the pin two position. Push that in and screw it down to two, like so. And then we're gonna fold again where we just had it come through. We're gonna have it fold under and pull this up also just to keep it out of the way. So it's really important we do each one um, as to make it easier to fold the wires over each other. So now with this, we're gonna move on to the next step. So that is step on the sheet, uh, step number four. So on step four, we should have two wires, red and black, in 18 gauge, and then four Y connectors. So seeing a trend here, starting again, stripping off the wire about three quarters to one centimeter of material. We will strip off. So the red and the black on both ends and put it to the side uh, and we'll put on two Y connectors onto each side so put this here on one quick pull, quick check pull make sure it's tight and then here Black. Crimp on one end, and then put it into position, and then crimp on the other end. Okay. So now uh, we're going to actually screw in our PID controller. So we have a couple wires in there, mix it. Uh, so we have our two screws from step two. So we take our relay and we have our slot here. You can see where the two screws were gonna go. And we basically slide this over and line up the PID with the position in the rest of the box. You can see that this is lined up. We're gonna take our screwdriver and we're going to screw down the PID. So kind of to get one screw. Started here. And then get the other started on the other side. A little tricky getting it from that angle. It's better if you go vertically. Oops, that's not meeting in the. We have to jiggle this around to get the. Get the. There we go. Get the right orientation. Uh, the black plastic is a little bit difficult to see the holes in sometimes. So we can screw that one in and then screw back this one. Okay. So there we are. Good to go. Just like so.